us try another one. Polar angle. Okay, so I want to know the angle of, let's just say, 2 plus 3i again. Okay, so let's just enter. What does that mean? Now, 0 0.982794. So, what does that even mean? Now, I'm thinking they're definitely giving us in radians. Now, let's have a look at our uh, document settings. So, document settings. Our angles are in radians. Now, if you want to change it to degrees, that's fine too. It's up to you what you want. So, if you were to graph 2 plus 3i, the angle that it makes with, if you do it from the origin, the angle that it makes with the positive x-axis would be 0 0.98 radians, which is almost 60 degrees. Okay, so that's how to find the angle, which helps you put that number, 2 plus 3i, into mod arg form or polar form. Let's actually find the um, modulus of that. So menu, number, and when I say modulus, I mean length or magnitude. So magnitude, and let's put 2 plus 3i again. Now, so if you were to graph 2 plus 3i as a vector, the length of that vector would be 3.6 approximately. So if I just use approximates for a second, writing 2 plus 3i in mod arg form would be like 3.6 outside of um, cos of 0 0.98 plus i times sine of 0 0.98. Now, the calculator actually has a function to do that for us. So let's try that again. Menu, number, complex number tools. Okay, convert to polar. Polar is the um, mod arg form. Okay, so answer to polar. No, we actually, we don't want the answer. The answer is just the magnitude. What I want is 2 plus 3i. So let's put, let's change this answer, delete it, and put 2 plus 3i, see if that works. In the bracket, enter. Ah, look at that. It looks a bit crazy. What that actually is, it's e. It says e to the power of that times that. Now, if you remember, that's actually just another way. That's the Euler form to write the mod arg form. So that is equivalent to 3.6 outside of cos of that angle plus i sine of that angle. Okay, and they have gotten used the same values as that we did up here because all the functions worked and gave the same values, which is really good. So that's how to change it into polar form. Um, now, how do we go back? So if I were to enter a, a polar form like this, let's give, say, a modulus of 2, and let's say an angle of pi. So to enter that, I'd press 2 times e to the pi times and I have to put i as well. Okay, can you see they've got the angle and then times i. So let's press enter. Oops. Enter. Okay, no, why is it just negative 2? Let's have a think about it. Pi i, so that means we'd have cos of pi plus i sine of pi. Cos of pi is negative 1. Sine of pi is 0, so that does in fact equal negative 2. Now, if and so it, that actually already give, gave me the rectangular form. Now, so let's think of something else. Let's try 5e e to the pi on 4. Actually, let's go control divide pi over 4 and then times it by i. Okay. Let's press enter. Ah, they automatically give it to me in rectangular form. So let's see if we can try that again. So if I select that and then say menu, uh, sorry, number, complex number tools, convert to rectangular, enter, you get the same thing. If you remember, we changed the settings for this document from real numbers to rectangular complex numbers. That means the default um, answer is always going to be a rectangular or Cartesian complex number. If we want it to be polar, we can always change the settings.
You can also enter your complex number in the term, in the CIS uh, form or polar form. So it's um, using like the modulus outside of cos of the angle plus I sine of the angle. Now, um, so for instance, if you press five and then bracket, so let's say five is our modulus, cos, so we press trig and choose cos, and let's say our angle is pi on three. So I might use a fraction, so control divide, press pi, on three, okay, get out of that inner fraction, then plus, and I want i, so I press pi again, but then choose i, times sine, and then I have to do pi on three again. So control, divide, choose pi, go down three, okay, enter. So what they've done is they've accepted it, as a, uh, they, they interpret it as a Euler form, so the modulus is 5 here and the angle is 1.0472, which must be the equivalent of pi on 3. Now, when you do these sorts of things, make sure your document is in radians mode, okay? The reason it gave me it in that form is because I have my document now in polar form. To put your document in polar form, if you haven't already done so, press document, Settings and status, document settings, I've got real or complex polar. Okay? I've just changed it so that they then give it to me in polar form. Now, if I want to convert that to rectangular form though, I press menu, number, complex number tools, rectangular, enter, and there's the equivalent complex number but in rectangular form. Now let's see if I enter a number in rectangular form, like 3 plus 4 times i, and then press enter. What's it done? It's given it to me now in polar form, so Euler form. The reason that is because my um, document is in polar form. So if you want the answers generally to be in rectangular form, make sure your document is in rectangular complex numbers um, settings. If you want your answers to be in this Euler form, put it in, put your document in polar form settings.